<laughs> my products guys <laughs> they're actually big i should come and invest by the just invested um two days yes three days back and again i see some are big so i should come back and invest more otherwise good morning my lovely family how you all doing guys i hope you're doing well otherwise your girl is here very very fine as you can see from the outfit guys it's garden day again I think you notice, um, now the thing is, we always have clothes for, for our garden work. You don't just, because you, there's a way that ends clothes a lot, so you don't just wear any clothes while going to the garden. We wear specific clothes for garden work so that you only spoil one or two clothes. You don't waste all your clothes in the garden. So I, mine is this. As you can notice, the color is brown, so <laughs> very perfect for dirty work, guys. So today I wanted to show you something. Mm, but it's not in my garden neither is it around my compound it's at my neighbor's uh, garden but i wanted to start from here just to show you how close it is from my home so guys it's actually my next neighbor's garden like the next person after me is where we are heading guys so come let's go If I go with it, I might end up throwing it. Here we are. We have arrived. <laughs> I told you it's my next neighbor's garden, so that was not even a, a one minute walk, was it? No, it wasn't. So guys, here it is. This is what I wanted to show you guys. These are um, groundnuts, what some people call g -nuts. I don't know if there's another name for this. Peanuts, very good. Some people call this peanuts. So guys, uh, it's my neighbor's garden and it's actually harvest time. As you can see, they've actually harvested some already here. And I am also here to show you how to harvest and also how to get them off the, the, the stems until maybe it is taken home. Hmm? So come let's go. I think we'll start from the other end of the garden because that is where they told me to start. I told you it's, my, it's not my garden so everything here is for permission. Come. <laughs> So here we are guys, we are going to start from this extreme end, going towards home. So guys, if you can notice, the leaves are actually, some already brownish as you can see. This is also an indication that it's actually mature. Meanwhile, uh, it takes about um, 90 days, that's like 3 months in the garden. So you just count off from the time you planted it. 90 days off from that day, you just know around that season around in the, in the 90th day or something around there it's actually ready for harvest yeah so that is exactly what my neighbors here did unfortunately i i didn't show you how it was planted sorry about that but at least i'm here to show you how to harvest it so guys when it's um when it's not yet a hot season like when it's not completely dry because we're heading towards the dry season i told you you still um pluck it out but when it's already like um dry season what we call here the dry season a season where there's no more rain you'll have to use a hole to dig it out because the ground will be too hard but for now let's pluck <laughs> or rather uproot Meanwhile, guys, has any of you ever tested um, groundnuts when very fresh like this? 
Mm? Do you like it the way I do? Actually, for us, what we do when it's fresh like this, we boil it again with salt. Eh? You add in some little salt and then boil it, and then you don't want to know that tastes. Oh my god, <laughs> you'll drink like a jug of water, <laughs> and you'll be so satisfied, guys. And another thing, when you're in the garden of products like this, you have to control your mouth. Otherwise, you might end up eating everything because it's... When you start eating it, you will not stop. So the best thing is you control. You take long to start testing it. Otherwise, when you start testing it early, you should know that you might end half of... You might end up eating half of your harvest in the garden before it reaches home. So I don't want to be tempted to test it right now because I don't want to finish my neighbor's granite. So guys, you can see how they are placed. Place them in a way that um, the side that that has the groundnuts are placed together, and then the other, the leafy part, is also facing the same direction. In this way, they can dry easily like this, or even it's easy to pluck them up because later on we are going to pluck off this, off the stems. You only go home with this. You don't carry this whole rubbish home. Wow, come and have a look guys, I just got a snail, look at this, how many of you have ever seen a snail for starters before even I go far, eh? <laughs> is it your first time, guys this right here is a snail, it's, it's actually alive by the way, you can see it's actually moving, you see, it's hiding, it's hiding, have you seen it, it's hiding, <laughs> oh my god, this is nice. I know very many of you would actually fear it. <laughs> <coughs> it's actually still young, you can see. The shell is still young, small. So guys, usually what happens is after plucking them, after uprooting them off like this, we arrange them in a way that it's going to be easy to, like I told you earlier on, we pluck off the seeds and then they leave the leafy parts in the garden because carrying it back home is going to be a lot of luggage and you know we don't want to waste any energy so you just always come with something like this so you remove only the the seeds 
and then afterwards we take it home and start dr sun drying you put it on the sun for some good time until it totally dries and then you can put it in the house and store it for your future consumption or even for sale by the way guys that people will just do this on a very very large scale and sell them and it's also part of how we earn income in the village because yeah, it's basically your hard work that is going to pay by the way if you're lazy you cannot survive here <laughs> if you think you're lazy survival here will defeat you definitely and you'll actually die of hunger but don't worry you'll not die we have neighborhood that is so um welcoming hospitable people share a lot by the way so don't worry even if you're lazy you'll not die but you'll learn to work hard that is the point guys <laughs> let me plug let me help my neighbors now so how about you leave me to work? 